Well, welcome all to our funeral service for Jim. Thank you all for coming. Thank you that soul and staff people have so many have come. We really appreciate that. And we know that isn't always an easy task. Um, it's my pleasure and really humble privilege to be able to preach for this today and have this funeral here. Um, I personally have been involved with people with developmental disabilities my entire life from little on up and personally and in church life. And uh, Jim was part of Soul, uh, and that's spiritual outreach, uplifting lives, something that this church began back in the late 1990s. So it has almost a 30 year run. I know Jim was part of that uh, weekly program, day program, which we do singing, and all the songs we have today are ones we do every Thursday here. Hey, buddy, who are you? That is how Jim said hello to me the first time we met, and I'd only been now this church three years, it will be this year, and Seoul was in only virtual form until last June. So we've been back in person almost a year, and he was... Um, asked me, so I said, well, I'm Pastor Todd. What's your name? He didn't, he didn't say anything. Run this place? You? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> then he walked past me and onto the lift and off we went. Of course, his staff said he was Jim. Um, but it's been a wonderful time to spend with the people here. Many that are in our program are here today. And he was pretty much a regular and because there's only 30 to 40 a week, we get to know them pretty well. Um, and every time we have a prayer time, and every member of soul gets asked what we're praying for, I'd always come up to Jim, he'd either say nothing, you, meaning me, or me, you know, himself. Um, now, Charmaine is here today. I don't mean to shine a spotlight on her, but she sat close to Jim in the church here, and... The week before Jim died in hospital, usually when we ask Charmaine what to pray for, she says nothing. But that day, she said, pray for Jim. And the staff told us what had happened. The hospital, the surgery was not easy. And we got to know the history very well of what happened. And um, he had many discomfort over the years, which we are thankful he does not suffer with anymore. Now, he wasn't a loud singer when we sang in the church, but he liked the music. He would shake an instrument. He wasn't keen on arts and crafts, and yet he helped us and joined in, even with painting. Uh, but uh, the energy Jim brought here filled the room, as well as all the other people here. And those that have worked with me over these last two years can see that the Spirit of God is certainly at work among this place. And not only here today, but as we continue on with these wonderful people. Um, one time I was taught to how to operate the lift, and one of our volunteers here showed me, and he saw my wedding ring, and he says, you got a wife. And I said, well, yes, I do. Is she purdy? <laughs> I think I had a cell phone picture. Says, oh, yes, she's gorgeous. Can I meet her? I said, eventually, and she did eventually come. And he would bump me in the elbow and say, oh, that's her. Nice. <laughs> um, the point of all this and what we heard is Jim's humanity was priceless. Um, and we often say when we work with people like this that when you lose one thing, you gain so many other things. And he, like so many, are full of life. And we are humbled to have been able to work with him and enjoy his time. And as we never know, when you have somebody like that in your family or your life, you never know how many days of life on earth you are given. So you do and make, try to make each time you meet with them comfortable and helpful. And that we don't see the inability with this. We always see the ability. And he helped show us that. Because um, even in churches, believe it or not, we Christians forget that God chooses folks like Jim that might look weak in the eyes of the world, but to make those who think they're strong feel not so strong. And he made all of us through his own life, through Christ working in his faith, he strengthened our faith. 
Because none of us are strong alone. None of us are good unto ourselves. We need our Lord and we need each other who is powerful in us, who created everything, who gave us life, who welcomed him, Jim's life back into the heavenly life. For our Lord emptied himself of all powerful looking things so that he could make us powerful through his life and his death on Calvary's cross. Our God was very weak, born as a baby in a manger, no place to lay his head, no home, and yet laying down alone on a cross for us, for Jim, for you and me. And we can accept that we're weak too, that we need help from everybody. And we have to trust other people, and at times we have to follow And we are strong because of what strength Jesus gives us. None of it, the earthly death, doesn't always make sense. And it's sad that it's happened. Seventy seems still pretty young, but it's still wise in God's ways because now Jim can join the heavenly soul group with all the souls at rest that all of our friends and family who have died. And he's there enjoying that now because it's all about his faith and what Christ meant to him. And a staff who, a community that loved him, soul community that loved him, family of blood and through the adoption of many friends. That is what really carries the, him forward and carries us on in the days ahead. And now the last time Jim came to Seoul, it was the Thursday before Easter, Monday, Holy Thursday. And uh, it's interesting to hear he liked chicken because he was happy that his staff was going to give him chicken for Easter dinner. And in the lift, it brings to mind, I must close with this, that uh, I was operating it. And when you mentioned, uh, Paul, that you make the, the last time or every time you meet count, he said in the lift, he never called me Todd. He just used his buddy or him or, you know, there, you. He said, Todd, I love you. And I was smiling, almost teary, and he was too. And then he said, you love me? I said, oh, yes, Jim, of course I love you. And I said, no, Jesus loves you too. You too, buddy. It almost sensed, you know, when I think back now, he almost made me wonder if he knew this was his last time with us. And that was the day, Jesus' last day on earth too, as a person. Of course, he now lives in our hearts by faith, as he did in Jim's, and now... We can share this wonderful gospel message that as we take our Lord with us into our corners of life, we too will maybe make buddies with people like Jim did. And if that's what we learn from him, then that is a powerful message for us today. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which goes beyond our human understanding, guard your hearts and lives in the one true faith in Jesus Christ now and always. Amen.